Today we're going to open up our Cubic Mini stove, wood burning stove. It's called Grizzly. Let's work on this. You know, I've been dying to uh, set this up for ages, so what I'm going to do is start with the stove because I want to feel it in my hands and I'm so excited. It's going right over here on the side of the side of the ambulance and we ordered this on a, on a Monday and I think it was here by Thursday. sure pack it well, I must say. Let's get this out of the way. Wow. Say hello to your brand new stove. We have warnings. I guess there should be warnings. Wow. They packed it quite incredibly well. Well, it ain't light. <laughs> Let me put this down and get rid of the box. This is a real beauty. Somebody says, well, what are you going to, why would you have a fire burning in a, an ambulance? Well, that's because it looks so darn cool. Look at that. It probably weighs 40 pounds, maybe. Maybe that's the part of the matter. Now let's see what else they sent me. I'm assuming this is pipes. All of Cubic's uh, product come with really, really nice stainless pipes. These ones are, uh, I think they're insulated to give us more, well, to give us more safety. What's this? A stove fan. That'll fit right there. Well, I'm right. This is a stove pipe. Now, when I first looked at these, I thought, geez, I don't want gray with, with uh, stuff all over it. This just peels off and gives you the shiny stainless underneath. This is a insulated pipe that goes between the ceiling of the ambulance and the stove. See, it's it's got a really cool insulation, and that pipe I just showed you goes inside. Beauty. Huh. Another one. Now there's another pipe. I won't take it out, it's the same as the other one. It's best to put this stove around 32 to 36 inches off the ground and it bolts right to the wall. This is a uh, special thing that goes on the ceiling. The pipes goes right between it like that. That's all stainless. Of course, these guys don't mess around. 
there's grommets, there's a cap. This is for the, uh, when the stack goes up the, out the roof, it goes about 8 to 12 inches, I think. And when you're not using it, you put this handy dandy cap on it, you take off the This is the uh, unit that goes on the top of the stack. Very cool. Look at that. So when you're parked and your fireplace is running, you just snap that little rubber grommet on and Bob's your uncle. Let's see what else they get in here. More pipe. A brush. A brush for what? Well, to clean the, the chimney. This is a grommet that goes on the roof and the pipe comes through it and protects your opening from water getting in. It's all gooey. Fire starter. These guys think of everything, man. What's this thing? This is I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but this I think is what is it? We'll we'll come back to this. What else do they have? You're not going to believe this one. They sent me a camping stove. <laughs> a ceramic tin cup. I'll have to get one for Joanne now. Or maybe that's hers. Uh, there's a bunch of other little things in here. Bolts. Okay, what else do we have? Jeez, we still have two more uh, boxes. Now, what I think is in here, and what it really is. Well, soon find out, but this I believe, well let me get one more thing out of here first. This is a table. This is a table that the stove sits on four screws four screws on the bottom it sits on there and then this slides out so that you can uh, I guess get rid of your get rid of your uh, ash and stuff like that it's really cool again it's peels off and it's gonna look wonderful now you're saying what are these things he's got here well this this goes against the wall, and it, by providing an inch of insulation, it keeps the wall from getting hot. That's all you need. We've got two of those. This is another little bracket for something else. Let's see what this one is. I hope the sound of the truck isn't uh, too loud because we uh, we have to use the power of the truck to run the lights until the batteries are hooked up this weekend. Now how cool is this? You'll say, well show us, what is it? Ooh. 
people in every RV camper guy that's got fire needs. Handy dandy holder, a little shovel to get the to get the ash out. Got a little poker. I guess we could take that out of there, could we? A little tiny poker. And this is kind of cool. It's a, I guess it's a log picker upper or a mover. We should just do that. So what this is, this is a guard. Now that I've got all the pieces out, this goes behind the stove to protect the wall because the stove is going right against the wall. And what this other thing is, this is a protector in case I was up close to an edge or something and I could just put this against the wall as another insulator so that the heat, if the stove was right here, this would probably go next to it right, like right there. But in this case, we're, you don't need it. So we're going to utilize this one for the uh, gas stove that's going in right here. So all in all, this is a pretty uh, cool little project and uh, I can't wait to get this in because we're going camping next weekend. <laughs> As you can see, there's no fridge, there's no stove, there's no bed, there's no heat. And the cool thing with this, well, cool thing, I mean, you have to uh, burn it for for a couple hours to get the uh, all the toxic smells and stuff off it before you install it. But that's just a common thing with, with wood stoves. So thank you for doing our little uh, unveiling and uh, cubicministoves.com. I may not have that right, but it'll be in the description below. And these guys are wonderful. The customer service is amazing. And typically these are in, in sailboats and uh, in high-end uh, mini homes. And and uh, I know there's a few people that are using it in, in vans. And it was a great idea. I loved it. And uh, Forsty Forest, we saw it in his van. He's one of the guys we follow. He's from Canada and he travels and hikes through the mountains. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. So thank you very much and uh, we'll see you next time.